and welcome to Add More Zest and my name's Rebecca also known as a four kids at 147 and it's back to a, a whip and chat um, I'm not sure how well it's showing on camera but I have been I did some of this last night um, but because I got to this big section here that while it's a lot of confetti it's a lot of confetti of the same colours I did uncover sort of three squares and I didn't get it finished it got too late so I decided to be good and go to bed because I was tired so I thought for the whip and chat today I will just continue on and um, so I was doing the letter O of which I still have quite a few left uh, so I think I'm going to continue with that before I think I've got three other colours and depending on what sort of time frame we're on, I might move over to another section and have a little shuffle and rearrange. I didn't take this one with me uh, when I went away. I actually took 30 by 40, the smaller one that I kitted up recently. I took that one away with me, as well as the Paint Gem mini sets. And I actually finished the 30 by 40. 40 um, but I haven't finished the mini sets would you believe I very nearly finished the mini sets I think I have one uh, in one of them to do I might have a few more in the other one but I know one of them is definitely nearly finished so I'll probably be finishing that one at some point this week maybe um, if I get the bug to do it rather than doing this large one um yeah we shall see if not it will probably get done as soon as I finish a large one I'll then be like right I'm doing some minis and then I'll probably finish them all off we'll see how it goes see if you know I know I have limited time one evening and therefore decide to do a mini or not uh, but thank you all so much for your holiday wishes uh, we did have a lovely time Luna was really good on the travel down. Um, she was in, we basically took her cage that she sleeps in uh, and popped it on the back seat and belted it in. So it was all secure in the back seat and then she went in there, which gave her a little, you know, she can sit up in it and she can, she can in fact stand up in it if she needs to. Um, yeah, it gave her some movement, but of course she was still secure and she spent a lot of the journey down, um, sat, sat uh, at the edge that was like the middle console of the car, just looking out the window. Um, but she was really, really good. On the way back, she pretty much slept the whole way. She was like, yeah, I've done this before um, and settled really well. But yeah, she had a lovely time. So did we. It is taking me quite a bit to get back into the swing of things at the moment. Um, I was supposed to, I was going to be doing my logbook video for Friday <coughs> because, um, of course, it was launch video yesterday on the 1st of October. So I thought, oh, I'll do my logbook on the 30th of September. Nope. Nope. Um, there was quite a few orders that came in while we went away, more than I expected. So those became my priority. Um, and I just I just don't think I got fully, I don't think I'm still don't think I'm fully out of holiday mode. Um, to the point that while I probably could have fitted the video in as well, I just was on too much of a go slow. To get the video fitted in as well so I've moved that to Monday so or tomorrow um, but so yeah I will be getting that done and now I I am up for a, a busy week preparing everything um, that was announced yesterday I'm so excited uh, so yeah all the advent calendar items I have done initial prep on them all that's what's kept me busy the last few weeks but I just need to 
pack them all into the actual boxes ready and I also need to prepare the diamond painting kit putting our little touches on it after Sam has worked her magic and yeah it's it's going to be a fun week I enjoy that sort of preparation but in order for me to be able to spend the week doing that I want to get my YouTube videos ready and scheduled and well, as soon as I hit record on the camera I love doing the videos it's just getting to the point of getting up to hit record on the, on the camera it's taking taking a little bit of a little bit more energy than I feel I've got um, yeah just due to being in holiday mode and trying to come out of holiday mode I'm sure everybody has felt the same way when it goes back to getting into the swing of things it can take a little bit um, yeah just to get back on top of life and washing and all the rest of it that comes with it but we did have an amazing time I'm using I'm still using the limited edition pen from last month um, Partly because I absolutely adore the design, but also I thought it went very well with the new tray that is launching on Friday. So I'm using the yellow zesty tray at the moment, though I picked up that one because this is a very confetti painting. But actually the section I'm working on has a lot of the same colour, so therefore... I could really have probably would have been better with the bigger tray because I can tip loads of diamonds into that um, because all these gaps are pretty much the same the same colours to get me the red trees uh, this letter O is a little bit of a harder symbol to see but it's not awful it's not too similar. It's a little bit similar to the letter M, which is surrounding it, but it's not, it's not really hard to tell the difference between the two. I'm probably just more likely to miss one due to the fact that they are all over the place. I don't think I'd get away with using a multi-placer on this one, even if I was a multi-placer kind of gal. I'd potentially get away with a two multi-placer. I don't even think there's not many areas that I could get away with anymore because they're just scattered. So yeah, I hope everybody is well. The new products um, that we launch on Friday seem to be popular so far which is good I do always wonder if something that I like and I'm excited about is gonna have the same vibe with everybody else and you never know sometimes you think am I the one with weird and different tastes or do I have the same tastes as other people but so far it seems to be going well. Friday we will be able to tell. My little piece of dryer sheet keeps trying to come out with it. But there are loads and loads of comments and questions on um, the whip and chat I did before we went away. Because it's been about a week and a half since that one was posted up. So I will get through as many comments as I can go in uh, during this whip and chat and then if need be I will answer some comments with the typing rather than the talking uh, just to ensure that everybody everybody's comments have been read and where you know where needed answered as well uh, but Alice has asked will you do another mystery diamond either before or after Christmas. Um, I do have a couple of mystery diamond painting kits in my stash. It will purely depend on if they are picked 
I mean, I'm guessing you mean mystery diamond. I'm guessing you mean, will I do a mystery diamond painting? That's what I initially thought the question was. I've just thought it could be something else. So I'm going to answer both. So in relation to a mystery diamond painting, <coughs> um, that will depend on if it is chosen by my decision wheel. I have finished the 30 by 40 um, Home Sweet Home Christmas version that I kitted up last week. I've actually finished that, so um, I will be kitting up another one. Whether it picks the mystery painting or not, I don't know. The other thing that I think you could mean, because it just says mystery diamond, is the mystery bags of diamond paintings that we put on the website every now and then, depending on when we have stock. Um, I don't think there will be any more this side of Christmas, but there will more than likely be some after Christmas. So the mystery bags that we put up on the website are not a, a timed launch. They are just put up as and when we get them ready. And they tend to be, there's a few different types that we do, but they tend to be selections of items that I've unboxed in videos because I can't keep everything. I don't have the space for everything and I don't have the time to do every diamond painting that I show you guys. So we offer them heavily discounted so that you guys get a treat as well. Um, and get to try out some companies that maybe you haven't purchased from yet. You can get to try them out and see if they if they go onto your shopping list or not. Um, so yeah, hopefully I've covered what you meant by Mystery Diamond. Um, if not, do let me know. Ask the question again on this video and I'll get back to it on the next one. Uh, cat lady she says she is still without a diamond painting Ooh, uh, she says she has a large 40 by 80 kitted up ready to go uh, but she doesn't want to start it when she won't have the time to do it uh, she says she needs to pick a smaller canvas from her stash uh, she has a lot to choose from Okay, so we don't have a diamond painter without a diamond painting emergency, which is good to know. Um, it's just a picking which one that you're going to do. I, it's been a very rare occasion that I've not had a diamond painting on the go. It has happened um, normally because I video every kitting up and kitting down. I have been known to finish both a big painting and a small one before I've had chance to kit another one up. I think the last time it happened was actually when I had COVID. Um, I wasn't up for filming um, any preparation videos so therefore I, I very nearly I think just pulled out a painting and kitted it up off camera but in the end I chose to do some special diamond paintings that's what I like to do when I have nothing kitted up and I've not yet done the videos to kit up another one. Because I, I try to leave a bit of time between finishing a painting and actually kitting it down and kitting up a new one. Because I have a couple on the go, it allows me to switch to a different one. Um, so yeah, I like to have that little break, but I actually ran out completely. So I did do some special paintings in that time. I don't know if you've got any special paintings that will work instead, especially if you've not got the time to do your big one. Maybe that will be a good in between. I actually, that reminds me, it's, it's the beginning of October already. I, I feel as though September has been super quick. I don't know if anybody else feels the same, but I feel that September has disappeared ever so quickly. 
and I'm not prepared for October. Um, I was going to, and I think I still will, um, I was going to work on my Heaven and Earth design, a massive project, my big one, and try and do a section a day in October, but not necessarily do more whip and chats like I did in August. So it will still appear in a whip and chat so you can see the progress, but I wasn't going to do extra whip and chats because that can often sap quite a bit more of my time, making sure that I get those done. And of course, with the big launch, October's a busy month. Uh, so yeah, I do need, to, I am going to do that. I just may start a couple of days delayed because life happens. We've just got back off holiday. Um, of course, orders needed to be prioritised to go out. And I've now got to ensure that I am as prepared as I can be for launch weekend while, you know, doing the, the mundane tasks like catching up on the washing. And I don't know if anybody else in the UK has noticed, but I have definitely noticed since getting back, there is now that nip in the air, that autumn nip in the air, that pretty much looking at the weather app in our area, it is either too cold or too wet to dry washing outside, which means I either have to use the dryer for some, which I am trying my hardest to avoid because energy prices have gone up quite a lot in the UK. So I'm trying not to use that too much. So yeah, I'm trying to dry holiday washing for four people um, because my son didn't go, though he still generated washing, of course, while I was away. Uh, and I have one daughter in uni who now takes care of herself. So I need to deal with over a week's worth of washing for five people and I can't put it out on the line. And I think that's a reason I prefer spring to autumn, because at least in spring, the air is a little warmer. Um, then in autumn, you don't tend to get that same nip in the air, which means washing can go out of my line. But yeah, I have found since I got back that I, th I think the chances of putting washing out have gone extremely slim, if not zero. It is. It has turned into autumn. Leaves are starting to fall off the trees and there's a nip in the air. But hey-ho. Um, so yeah, thank you to, so much to everybody who has sent me Heaven and Earth Design diamonds. I have multiple envelopes um, on my table that I have not yet opened up. I'm actually thinking I might do a video with them. Um, actually, I'm not sure. Um, yeah, I need to. I need to have a look. See, look, I found one I've missed already. Uh, I need to have a look. Or oh, two I've missed already. Did I just not look at this top section when I was doing the letter O? Um, yeah, I'm not sure actually whether it is going to be like a full video, but I do need to do a little recce and see what I have. And of course, thank people individually for sending me diamonds. Um, please rest assured, I have received many packages. I just have not yet opened them because I know that I need to, one, find... Um, which which media way um, people have contacted me with the offer to send diamonds and asking for the address, which when it can include a Facebook, Instagram and email and or YouTube, 
it can sometimes be a little tricky to locate any any chat threads or conversations that I've had with people um, and I need to sort of tally up what I have and haven't got so that I've got an updated list so that I don't want to get anything mixed up you know with who may have sent me what etc so they are currently on a pile on my desk to do but I might try and get out my heaven and earth design and put it somewhere handy I mean it, it's not unhandy in my craft room but make sure that it is front and center and try to get some more of that done over October. Try and do a section a day. Uh, but, you know, be light on myself or not harsh on myself if a day is just too busy. Um, try and get some more of that project done. Uh, Susan, she says, thank you, Rebecca. She says she loves these whip and chats. Uh, she's going to start her very first Dreamers Design canvas in November. She said it's called Remembrance, so it's an appropriate month to do it in. Uh, she said it's a beautiful field full of poppies. Definitely November is a good month. Uh, she says she has a feeling that your advent calendar release is creating as much anticipation slash buzz in the diamond painting community as diamond art club's recent mystery box has oh thank you i did see their mystery box i did wonder whether to get it and then i decided i had more than enough paintings and my list for diamond art studio was too long so <coughs> Uh, she says she cannot wait until October the 7th uh, and she does wonder how many feel the same way that she does. She says, I hope you have a lovely holiday from Canada. Oh, thank you, Susan. I am hoping that everybody really likes the advent calendar. It's always nervous doing something new like that, especially when people don't know the exact contents, because, of course, that's the idea. But also, you know, people are, are putting their faith in the contents and I'm just hoping that it all lives up to their expectations. Um, but it's, it has been a lot of work, but also a lot of fun to put together. There has been a few stressful moments. <sighs> um, one, one item completely got returned um before it even reached me another item went missing was purchased again and also seemed to go missing no update on tracking or anything um then i purchased something else as sort of an emergency item not exactly what we wanted but would still have been good and same monetary value and then the original item turned up so the other item can be a future release, I'm sure. Uh, and then we did have an item turn up and we weren't happy with the quality and had to go find a replacement. So, yeah, it's, it's had its ups and downs, but I have thoroughly enjoyed putting it together. And I'm really excited to see what people um, think of it as they open it up, as they open up each day. Um, the packaging for it we have kept extremely simple with it being brown bags um, but I didn't want to put the money in the packaging I wanted to put the money in what was in it and keep the cost down that was our big one is that we wanted the initial outlay for an advent calendar to be a low price considering what's in it so I think we've achieved that um, Darcy, she says, hello, Rebecca. She says she has to ask me a question for Pattern Keeper. She said, are you charged a monthly payment or is it a yearly one? Um, it's actually a one-off 
Darcy. So you do get a two week free trial. So you can download Pattern Keeper on Android and try it for two weeks. Um, and then it will prompt you to pay. And I'm sure it is just a one off. I've never been asked to pay for it again and I've had it longer than a year. So yeah, it's a one off price for the app once you've given it a go and you're happy to pay that price. I think it was $7.99. I'm not sure if it still is because mine was well over a year and, you know, inflation. But I'm pretty sure it's just a one off fee. It's not a subscription. Which is good, the length of time this project's taking me anyway. Uh, Bernadette, she said, another great whip and waffle, thank you. Uh, she says, well, you really have me curious now, she says, about the diamond painting for Advent. She said, since you mentioned that it's different. Uh, she said she can't wait. She really has to have it. Um, she's looking forward to the Advent calendar too, she says, and maybe a few other things. She's going to treat herself, she said. Why not? It's nearly Christmas. Uh, she said, I hope you will and the girls have a great holiday. Thank you, Bernadette. Well, yeah, it has now been announced. Yesterday's video was the announcement of not October's items. So I can freely say that there are two advents for this year. There is the advent calendar that you can purchase and open a package a day to find a diamond painting or craft related goodie. And then there is a advent calendar diamond painting where the image is an advent calendar which I am planning on framing. I think I'm gonna use, I am pretty sure, I need to check the size, uh, but I think that the diamond paint, the frames that I used to have up in my craft room, that I had to take down when we increased the size of the bookcases that I have in here to fit more stock in, um, the frames that I had up, are, I'm pretty sure they were a 40 by 40, but with a mount for a 30 by 30 picture. So it's a 40 by 40 frame when I don't use the mount. So I'm thinking of using one of those frames, and they were from the range, I believe, um, to frame my advent calendar. So it will be behind acrylic. And then I want to either, I'm either going to print out some like 1st of December, 2nd of December type stickers maybe um, and laminate them and maybe use the likes of blue tack, you know, something low adhesive to uh, put them on the front of each of the numbers. This will be for 2023, of course, once I've made it. Um, and then take each square off to reveal the painting on each day of December. Or I'll create something like a star or something that just moves about according to which day it is. I've not fully decided that yet. That will be a project ready for next year once I've completed the painting in this advent this year. Um, Jackie, she said she started out with two glue dots. This was in her three placer, I think, or maybe a four placer. Uh, she said, but after she got halfway through her 310, she said they were too squashed down. So she added a third one. I do find that though, I find that I start with a glue dot um, in a pen. Sometimes I have to trim it down. It really depends on how it decides to fit into my pen. And then once I've used the pen for a while, I find that I have to top up the glue dot a little bit until it finally settles. 
but of course when I was on holiday as I have mentioned I did do a full 30 by 40 painting I think it was the second full day we were down there I think the tiredness of the late night drive caught up with me and I just spent the day pretty much in the caravan we did go potter um, to other family members caravans and down to the little bistro that they have there but I spent the bulk of the day in the caravan and I was diamond painting and my glue dot in my pen stopped picking up and I hadn't packed a glue dot I hadn't packed any wax I didn't even pack any tweezers so that I could pull the glue dot out and put it back in again I ended up finding a badge um, and using the pin off a badge to take the glue dot out and put it back in um, and it actually made it quite a stick it out quite a bit but I didn't have any scissors that were suitable for trimming it off so I just worked with a very puffy glue dot until it settled itself back down but you know where there's a will there's a way and I got the diamond painting done. I was determined to get it done and eventually I did. Okay, the colour symbol that I'm doing now is very dark and I keep trying to make sure that I'm not missing any. I'm probably just gonna miss, end up missing some anyway. But I don't want gaps. Uh, Amber, she says she's actually working on a Dreamers Design painting now too. Uh, she says the only thing that is bothersome is she said is the square 310 black drills. Uh, she says they are mostly trash or they're stuck together. She said which she's finding frustrating. Well, if you have found that they're stuck together, do try popping all the diamonds in some sort of small plastic container with a couple of coins and give it a good shake. And that might help you with the stuck together part. And then hopefully you can find enough drills to work. I don't think if this, oh, this one does have 310, but not a lot at all. So I don't have many. I think that's it. They don't seem too trashy to me at the moment. All stuck together mine. So maybe it's look of the drawer. But I don't have to use them very often. Um, or so far I haven't had to use them very often. I have used them in a few places. But they don't tend to come in big clumps either. So I've only ever had to put a few in. Um, rather than loads. I do need to remember to do those two O's in a minute. Uh, Juliet, she says, hello Rebecca. She says she's really excited for the launch in October. She said, as well as enjoying the whip and waffle. Uh, she says, your painting looks beautiful. I hope your holiday was everything that you hoped. Uh, she says her holiday is in five days and this was posted nine days ago so I hope you're enjoying your holiday Juliet um, she says it's in Park City she said which is really beautiful every season she says but fall is the best she thinks hugs from Utah there are some places that are really really nice in fall um, or autumn depending on what you call it but I miss being able to dry my washing. <laughs> That's the main reason I like spring. There's a nice breeze, you can dry your washing and you don't get too hot. Um, the weather was pretty good to us. There was a few times that it was raining in Cornwall. But because it's further south than we live, the weather tends to be a, a few degrees warmer anyway. Um, so yeah, we found it quite nice and quite mild. And we did do some pottery painting on, on a day that we knew it was going to rain. 
had a lovely time sitting there painting some pots. I painted some little little plates and a little dish, like a little trinket one. Um, and yeah, thoroughly enjoyed myself doing that. Um, Amber, she said she would definitely buy the mini trashy. She says they are so cute. Well, stay tuned. Uh, mini ones production is sort of starting. Uh, it will go into full swing once we have, um, you know, once we've finished prioritising the limited editions for the next couple of months. Um, but we're hoping that by the beginning of next year, January, maybe even February, actually, um, just because I am away in January for a couple of weeks. At the end of December, beginning of January, I'm away for two weeks <coughs> visiting my fam. Um, yeah, and um, well, as soon as we know we have enough for launch, we will be launching the little trashy trays. They will be coming. Um, yeah. And well, of course, we'll we'll let you know when they are available. Um, but it will be as a stock item. So we will be doing it in the stock colours as a stock item. So nobody has to panic about it potentially going out of stock too quick. I'm hoping to have enough stock to keep everybody happy. Um, Daylene says, hi, Rebecca. Love your videos. Uh, she's currently wrapping gifts for her brother-in-law's baby shower this coming weekend. She said he will be a single daddy. Uh, she said she has got an agreement uh, from Hobby for her birthday gift. Uh, let's just say, she said, we will be placing an order soon. <laughs> awesome. She says her birthday is 17th of November. She said it's seven weeks before Christmas. Uh, and it's the first year that she's asked for a birthday gift in 48 years. Well, I hope you enjoy your birthday gift and, of course, the baby shower. Congratulations to your brother-in-law. Um, I'm sure oh, new babies, new babies. And is, will it be a new baby for Christmas this year or maybe next? Babies are really exciting at Christmas. I don't know why, because I think the first Christmas they really don't care. But it's still exciting, nonetheless, for for us adults, is it not? Um, Nancy says, thank you for the whip and chat while she works on all she wants for Christmas. There is definitely a Christmas theme going on. Um, part of me would like to apologise for the Christmas that is going to hit you in October. And the other part of me doesn't want to because I think October is early enough to start talking Christmas. I don't know. I don't think it's early enough for Christmas music in shops, especially the poor retail workers who have to listen to it day in, day out and don't get a rest. I think December should be the minimum before Christmas music plays. But I do think it's early enough to talk Christmas, especially if you're doing, you know, items for Christmas presents. Us crafters know we need we need that preparation time. Uh, me and Sam at Time and Art Studio started talking Christmas in June which is our usual time for starting Chris, talking Christmas. We've even had semi-talk. Um, we've even had conversations about next year, um, though nothing's guaranteed. But, you know, those conversations come up, don't they? And, yeah, so I think October is perfectly fine. I have quite a few unboxings in October of Christmas goodies. And, of course, I will be breaking down a Christmas kit that I have just finished. Though it is it is more of a subdued Christmas image. It's a little bit more wintry than it is full-blown Christmas. 
Um, but yeah, love talking Christmas. I thought that last symbol was hard. This one's even harder because there's less of them. Uh, Amy, she says, is say taken her so many times, she said, to get to the end of this video. Um, she says she was put off tonight because of the Queen and we had late bins. Uh, she says she's nearly got all that she can cram into her and her son's room so far. Um, she says she doesn't know where in Milton Keynes she will move yet, not till they say that she has a place. Ah, oh, so you've been busy preparing to move. I used to live in Milton Keynes, Bletchley, near Mil. Oh no, Bletchley was the hospital. No, was Bletchley the... No, Bletchley... Yeah, I think it was Bletchley and Milton Keynes. I don't know. I was I was two or three. As very young, um, I think it was Bletchley within Milton Keynes that I used to live. Many moons ago. Let's put it that way. Um, Amy, she says £50 is really cheap for the advent calendar I'm guessing she said the last one that she got was £75 or more um, and that was the same one that I unboxed last year uh, yes that was one of the main things that we wanted to do with the advent calendar this year was bring the price point down um, I mean £75 was about £3 a day and I thought that was reasonable for what you got three pound a day was reasonable but I do think that 75 pound in one hit when you don't know what it is is it can be hard it can be very hard to find that amount of money in one hit so we very much so wanted to have a lower price point um because, of course, nobody's bought an advent calendar from us before because we've never done one before. Um, so, yeah, it's something that, considering the time that I have spent preparing the advent calendar, um, I wouldn't say I've got paid for my time, but I have thoroughly enjoyed the process and I believe the price is is a good price for what you get and a very fair price for what you get and I think it opens it so that it's available for more people to have a little Christmas treat okay I just threw a diamond on the floor because I thought I tipped it out of my tray and I hadn't but I have finished this section I still have quite a lot um, of questions on YouTube, questions and comments. I feel like I've waffled about lots of other things. So I'm going to have a rearrange. My battery's also flashing, so I'll change that in a moment. But I'm going to have a rearrange and get my next section prepared. Um, and you get the joys of seeing how I now prepare my next section. I need some more um pipe lagging sort of rolls to roll my diamond paintings up on i am completely out of it so this painting has a mind of its own but i tend to roll it down a bit on my easel so that i can get to the next section and then rather than just moving my cover paper straight up I do it in one big row so that I can have a nice straight line. So I take this piece off and line it up so that I've got a neat row just a little bit below my last one. And then I start moving these up to keep the same, the same line. So it means I don't have to rearrange these top sheets and obviously some of mine I've not cut perfectly straight but some of these I have had for years and okay 
it did die on me so I move them up and then I start pulling in the sheets that I've been taking off as I've gone along and I do a bit of both and then I scoot across my easel and I scoot my light pad so my light pad underneath which is actually turned on is trying not to get this cam in fact let me move it over and then I'll show you underneath because otherwise I'm going to make a pickle and get something stuck where it shouldn't be stuck and that's not advisable so I'm making sure that that top line is straight so that as I peel off these bottom ones I the line goes all the way across but what I also do let me move that down is I use my light pad to sort of extend my easel just a little bit because this one's so big so it was over here just stuck over just a little bit and I've now put it there the diamond painting does hang off the end but that's fine because what I'll do is when I get near the middle I'll scoot this up and then I'll scoot it up to this end and push the light pad the other way and then once I've got it how I like it and the right sort of height for me I use my big towel clips to clip it on and then I cut off this clear plastic just below the next row of cover paper trying not to attack my cover paper at the same time and there we go I am ready to start this part and then quite often I will peel off a couple and according to this sort of image I've got some darker colours here and they don't tend to repeat that much up here so I'll end up doing all these colours down here and then when I start getting to this letter C and symbol that does follow up so by then I will have finished this and that's when I'll remove this and I sort of nudge my way up all the way up to the end tends to be how I work it so I know I've got none of these really dark greens and things already um, nothing actually repeats until I get to that 9 or 10 so I'm going to cover up to there so this, num this symbol 9, this symbol 10 none of those are up here it only starts repeating with this letter U and possibly the letter T so I could do it all the way up to there that covers in the U and the T that are down here and then when I've actually put diamonds on about this half that's when I'll start peeling back some of these and I move along the bus just a little bit each time <coughs> so let's put my computer the other side now to have a hope and then put my grip mat up there and my little trashy tray and we get to go again let's see how far I can zoom in I can't move it too much further to the right because of the length of it um, so yeah, let's tip out some of these colours. Um, so yeah, advent calendar wise, I think that was the last one. Um, we did try to, to lower the cost to make it accessible for more people. But there is only so much that you can limit the cost having 24 different items in it. But hey, it gives chance of people if to people if they can afford it to have a nice selection of different diamond painting goodies or diamond painting and craft related goodies something a little bit different right is that all I've got of that one 
There's quite a few of these at the bottom. There's not that many of it. It's like a little grass verge close to, I think it's a lake. I don't know if I'm, am I nearly halfway now? He's hoping. Because then I start seeing the home stretch. Denaya says, hmm, she says, I can see that I need to order two. <laughs> I think this is about the mini trace. She says, one to use for diamond painting and one to glue a ring on to attach to my key ring. I like that idea. I wonder if you could screw in one of those little little things used for jewellery. I'm not sure how well it, it'd have to be a short one um, because of the bottom of the tray. You wouldn't want it to stick out the bottom. I can imagine that could be fun. Um, <coughs> she says, just think of all the free advertising. <laughs> yeah, you'd have to make sure that you tell people everywhere that you get the key ring from. Um, if you put this on a key ring because it actually doesn't have the branding on that one it didn't look right we weren't I wasn't happy with it um though I may end up putting something on the other end but it won't be sort of engraved in I might have to look at uh, finding a way of printing something um she says she has edited it she says she kind of feels sorry uh she says for King Charles she said, the world is mourning the loss of an extraordinary monarch. Um, he's mourning the loss of not only his queen, but his mother. She says, and politics and things that must be done and all that balderdash will give him so little time to grieve for quite some time. Yeah, I wouldn't, I wouldn't like that. You know, the whole world watching, the whole... You know things that you have to do in effect um, we did have 10 days of national mourning up until the funeral and then they did have seven days of monarchy mourning I don't think that's what it was actually called but for the royal family to mourn and I know he did take himself up to Balmoral think in Scotland though from what I'm aware as much as as much as the news tells us um, he did still have like his red box work to do uh, but he didn't have any public engagements so hopefully he got a little bit of a little bit of time to process some of it um, Lady Dax said, yep, she watched all day on Monday. Uh, she said she thinks that we did, as a nation, um, did our Queen proud. She said she had a few tears, she said, but when they showed her beautiful dog, she said her heart broke. Um, and she said all I could think is they must be wondering where, her, where their mum has gone. Uh, she says she's so looking forward to the advert painting and calendar. Uh, she says last year's KT had won, she said, was nice. But she agrees that there was too many bottles of drills. Uh, she says, hope you have a wonderful breakaway. Yeah, I didn't quite realise there was that many bottles of drills, though, until I did look back. Like, I knew there was quite a few, but I expected, I actually went to count them. Because while I knew there was a few, I didn't know exactly how many. So I went to count them and I was actually quite shocked when there was 12. Um, and it was like half of the advent calendar's worth. I expected it to be six, six to eight bottles in there, not 12. But, you know, if I knew the DMC numbers, I think that would be easier. I think I would have them in my stash and potentially have used some. 
um, but I haven't got around to figuring out what numbers they are. Maybe that's something I should put on my list to do is to actually figure out what A, B numbers they are so that I can potentially use them when switching out diamonds for A, B ones. That could be an idea. That one's got a little bit of a divot in it. Wasn't going to sit as nice as the others. Um, Diana, uh, she says, hi, Rebecca. She says, this is just an FYI. She says, for the person that was asking about doing a heaven and earth design in rounds. Um, she says, Joan, from the Joan Diamond Paints YouTube channel, um, just gave it a try on a very small canvas. Uh, the results weren't too bad, she said, in terms of seeing the white space between the drills. She says, of course, the picture looked ever so slightly more pixelated. Uh, but from a distance, she said it wasn't too bad. If you would like to see it, it's on the video that she posted on September the 21st. So there you go. Somebody has given it a go to see what it was like. Uh, she says, I hope posting this is OK, Rebecca. She says, I know you like it when we help each other. Um, so that's all I'm trying to do. She says, I hope you're not offended. I'm not offended at all. Um, I do appreciate that there is, you know, people that are willing to say where people can find out information um, that they want to. I try not to um, look at too many other diamond painting YouTube channels. I will occasionally watch a video that is pointed out to me, um, but I don't tend to do a lot of going hunting because I don't want it to affect what I do. Um, I feel this channel at the moment works for me and I don't want to be influenced or swayed or get into any politics. I don't think there's any politics, but you can often find politics everywhere if you try and I'm not into that. So I don't tend to to see a lot of what other people are posting. I tend to, I much prefer my video ideas to either come from my own head or come from you guys and things that you want to see. And that's what I tend to go with. So I do appreciate the fact that there is somebody who has tried out a heaven and earth design in a round. And there's somewhere, somebody that can have their question answered um, by them because I definitely can't do a heaven and earth design in round for a while. I need to finish the ones that I have first. And they're taking a while, would you believe? <laughs> they're taking me just a while to complete. I've just realised I actually have some 310 in this section. Not a lot. In fact, it's about five drills, but I do have some that get popped into this little bottom part. Um, Army Mower NG uh, said they are so excited for the launch previews. Uh, they've just found out that her co-worker or their co-worker Diamond Paints. Uh, so now that's all they talk about. Love it. All I got when I worked, um, when I was working full time at my job is that their mum Diamond Paints. That's all I got. And I'm like, not quite the same. I did, of course, send said mum some diamond paintings, but it's still not quite the same because they glazed over if I talk diamond painting. Um, she says they show each other pictures of their work in progress, like their new parents. Love it. Uh, she said she might have to get her a tray and other goodies for Christmas. That sounds like an idea. And uh, show her this channel as well. Maybe she'll get lost for a while. A bit like down a little rabbit hole, a bit like you can do when you um, 
go on Pinterest and start looking at something, whether it just be home decor or some idea for some room in your house and all of a sudden Pinterest has taken over your life. It does that to me far too much. Uh, okay, let me get my next symbol. Bit of 939. We're definitely going for dark down here. Um, Carp DM does a budgeting. Says uh, she has to say that she bought four Dreamer design kits um, and she absolutely hated the canvases. She says they're so rigid, stiff and horrible. Uh, she says her, it was her first order from them and also her last. She's hoping that they will improve them. Well, I know there's somebody that has purchased from them recently. So do let me know if they have changed their canvases. Um, I'm not keen. I'm not anti their canvases. I will give them another go because I think it's fair the amount of time that it's been since this painting um, since I got this painting I think it's fair to see if the canvas symbols have improved by getting another design when I finish this one um, because you know companies diamond painting has not been around that long so of course all diamond painting companies themselves are quite new um, and of course within that there are diamond painting companies that are newer than others and there's forever improvements being made where things just aren't quite right in certain in certain places I know we've made mistakes um, you know and I've gone on to improve them so I do want to give them another go when I finish this one um, and I think I spoke about that in my last whip and chat as to why I'm waiting till I finish this one. But um, if somebody has ordered from them recently and they have changed their canvases, do let me know. If not, of course, I will have a look when I get round to ordering one or another one. Um, Christine, she says she's been contemplating purchasing a 3D printer, uh, but she has no idea where to start looking she said what brands are best etc do you have any tips well darling mr four kids answered this one uh, which is good because while i can do a lot more on a 3d printer than i've ever been able to do in my life before if we have any you know malfunction it's mr four kids that get shouted to deal with it <coughs> so for those that are diamond painting while listening and don't want to go hunting for the last whip and chat and the answer um, he has replied saying that we did start with an ender 3 version 2 um, in fact we've had three of those printers uh, she said many websites he, he said sorry many websites suggest it as the best beginning 3D printer. Uh, she said, he, he said, it does however have a couple of issues uh, that don't help with consistent good prints. So yeah, we did learn quite a lot at the beginning um, and had quite a lot more failed prints at the beginning. Um, she says, uh, he says, I keep saying she says, and it's actually my hobby that's replying and his comment I'm reading out. Um, working through those issues helped with learning about 3D printing, which it did. Um, we changed on the end of version two, we changed the spring beds, uh, added a bed self-leveling BL touch sensor, changed the nozzle um, to a harder metal nozzle, and added a Z axis anti -bash backlash springs. I don't know what they look like. Uh, he said, We have now replaced two of our Ender V2s with the Ender 3 S1. 
Um, so we now have two version twos and two S1s. Uh, one S1 we actually bought as a fourth printer. Um, and then we did have one printer that the amount of repairs it needed, it was better to replace. Um, so we actually replaced that with an S1. Uh, it does cost more, uh, but many of the extras that we added, it already has built in. So we haven't added any extras to the S1. Whereas if we bought another version 2, we would buy a certain amount of parts to upgrade from out of the box. Um, so if you, he said if you were printing for a hobby, uh, the Ender 3 version 2 is ideal. As out of the box, it does work. Um, there's two YouTube channels that he likes as the info is clear and easy to follow. And that is CHEP 3D Printing and BV 3D Brian Vines. So there you go. If anybody's into 3D printing, they're the two channels that Hubby likes. And they're the printers that we currently use. Um, and I do prefer the S1 for sure because I can get that one going a lot easier than I can get going anything wrong on the V2. Um, cross stitch in tat and tat. Um, says that her pain unfortunately is chronic um, so pain management is key for her she says so watching and listening is a big part of that she says for me thank you oh you're so welcome I'm so so glad that my channel helps people with things like that um, and that the content is there for you to watch and even all the past content um, I've forgotten what I've said a couple of years ago, so I'm sure even if it's one you've watched, you've probably forgotten as well. Um, they've gotten to some more of the confetti in their Heaven and Earth design painting. So they're now at 3.6% uh, and they're using the Pattern, e Pattern Keeper app on their phone. So they're doing three 10 by 10 squares at a time. Uh, she said, have a wonderful holiday and she'll be watching the older videos while I'm gone. Well, there you go. There's plenty of older videos. And I think I only actually missed one day due to the holiday. I have cut my videos down to five days a week just to try and make the whole work-life balance a little bit better. Um, I have... Yeah, I have gone to five days a week on this channel. Um, though I try, if there are videos on the other channel, to make sure they're on days that there isn't one on this one. So that if you subscribe to both channels, you've got something to watch. Um, but there are loads and loads of older videos for you to be able to go and have a little old nosy at. They can be entertaining. They've, they've been talked about in comments before because they've been entertaining to watch the older ones back. And I've just realised that one of the symbols I've done, I've missed there. Joys of confetti. Uh, Susan says, another spectacular whip and waffle. Thank you, Susan. Uh, she says she has a question. Okay. Uh, are you going to ship the advent box, the painting and the trays, one or two, depending on colour, together? She said, if so, do you know approximately what the shipping costs are for all three items? Um, so, yeah, if need be, we will be shipping them together. In relation to the shipping costs, that can vary greatly depending on what country you are in. However, I think we do have a postage limit. It is £40, I think, but that is the highest postage that we charge. I think once it hits that, 
it tends to have to go via an alternative courier um, and then we hunt about for the best, best price for the courier at that time. Whereas a, a lot, lot of, of our items that fit in the smaller, thinner box is what's called a large letter here in the UK. Um, so our postal service offers that at the best price than any courier could. And that is how most of our orders go out. Most of our orders, um, I'd say quite a high percentage, 80% of our orders will fit in one of the what we call large letter boxes it's a4 so it's quite wide um, but that will fit stickers trays all sorts of things in um, and that's how most of our parcels are able to go when it starts getting heavy with card stock in or getting bigger due to the amount of items quite often depends on how much it tips the scale but quite often uh, just the local postal service is still the cheapest it's once it gets bulky and heavy or bulky more so than heavy um, that a courier can be cheaper so we do have that limit we are doing it for all how much exactly each item will be depending on your country I can't tell you because it all does depend on how much you order as to as to it we do it by weight um, apart from the lowest postage rate we don't charge anything for packaging after that we tend to just stick to the pot to the cost of postage because it's expensive enough as it is um, and then yeah we do have that cap which we have had a few parcels that have actually been more than that cap um, so we've covered the difference We'll see how much that happens and how much that hits us um, for Advent. Because I know last year, um, most international parcels cost us more to send than people paid in postage. We did, we knew that and we did, um, we did absorb the cost of that to be able to get the painting out to as many people as possible. So all I can say is it will be as cheap as we can do it um, and sometimes cheaper than it actually costs us. But I can't tell you the price for the exact thing because it's not packaged um, and weighed. And without looking up any information, I don't know exactly where you're based, Susan. Um, but yeah, it will all be there before you check out if you do need to you know if you do want to confirm your total price you will be able to confirm your total price before you agree to the payment um yeah and hopefully we can you know as the business grows hopefully we can start getting a better rate um from the postal service but at the moment it's not quite an option unfortunately uh, Billy says, hoping you have slash have had a splendid holiday with Luna. Uh, she said uh, she'll not she'll miss not having a Sunday whip and waffle. I know I did actually think when when I said about sneaking in a midweek whip and waffle, I did actually think to myself, why didn't I just film it early and put it up on a Sunday anyway? But hey, I'd already committed to putting it up midweek. Um, this is for your information. Dreamer Designs do not give too many extra drills. Uh, they've had a couple on. She's had a couple on hers that have only had two or three extra. Oh, OK. So I do think I definitely need to finish then because I have pulled quite a few trash drills from these which I'm fine with if there's enough drills to finish the painting but I guess we'll all see as I get closer and closer to the end as to whether there is enough um, she also said that she's patiently waiting and has her calendar marked uh, ready for the October launch she said thanks for everything oh you're so welcome I'm so excited does get me excited for December Advent. 
which is good because I realised when um, checking back on the video for launch items before um, I sent it to to sort itself out and ready for YouTube, I did realise, and I can't believe it's taken me this long to realise, considering how many times I've looked at that diamond painting image. But the diamond painting does have 25 days. And I normally do the advent for 24 days, not 25. But there's 25 there. So I feel like I'm going to have to, or and I probably will do, because otherwise it's just not the same, have an extra whip and waffle this year. Um, that I will put up on Christmas Day. I won't be filming it on Christmas Day, just so you all know. I will actually be getting on a plane late on Christmas Day um, to go and visit my family in Australia for a couple of weeks, but I will pre-record that day's a video um, and pop that one up so that I can actually finish the painting with you guys. Otherwise, I'm going to get to day 24 and be like, all right, see you later. Day 25 is just going to sit there. So I wonder how many of you guys will be able to squeeze in an hour or so to complete day 25 on Christmas Day or whether paintings will be getting finished the day after. Who knows? Okay. I'm trying to work out how many questions I have left because I feel like this video has gone on for a while. I've got quite a few, but let's see if I can get through a few more. Um, I'm going to do the number seven because I can place more diamonds while chatting then. Oh, I've just refreshed my comments. Um, and there is loads of comments on the new advent, the new advent release. I will read them later. Um, okay, Peaches and Diamonds said, hi, Rebecca, said, love your videos. Uh, they get their six mini sets this week. Um, she's going to put dryer sheets in when she inventories them. Um, and she has to wait to do them because she has three rows left on the old shoe house for her mum. Then she can crack on, crack into those. Plus she ordered three of the boxes that I use um, from the link she said that you sent, which was much appreciated. So yeah, the double stack boxes that I use for the paint gem minis or use when I can for the paint gem minis um, while they're not available on Amazon where I got them from anymore um, though there are some they're just not as good a price they are available on AliExpress and I have got that link in my favorites on the website um, so she ordered the tattoo mini set and loved it uh, hubby said it was his favorite on site and he's agreed to give it a go uh, and do one of the tattoo paintings. She said, part of me wants him to love it like I do, um, but part of her doesn't. She says, I'm sure you can understand both sides. Yes, it would be nice to have someone loving it, to sit there, do it with you, know what you're talking about when you have that conversation. Though Hubby's pretty clued up on diamond painting, he's never actually done it, so that... That knowledge side of things isn't there, though he does still listen to me, bless him. Um, but yeah, the possibility of having to share lots of stash and potentially having, you know, questions and questions maybe about how much stash you have and whether you really need some of it. That could be a bit trickier. Um, she says, we shall see. Hope you have a wonderful, safe holiday. And that's Jess. So Peaches and Diamonds is Jess. Thank you, Jess. Well, 
I say I kind of hope he enjoys it I think the I think him enjoying it and doing it with you is possibly the better side of the two um, but do focus on the pluses if he does decide it's not for him and at least he'll know a little bit more about what you're talking about especially you know if you have frustrations with it at any point maybe he'll know a bit better uh, Linda, she said she watched the whole telecast. She said from the setting up of the procession to the final. Uh, she said in a way she did feel sorry for the royal family having to grieve for so many days and so publicly. Uh, she said she knows how hard it is to have the finality of a funeral. She said so... Um, to be so delayed if you can't really let go until that final goodbye. Um, I agree. And I think that, in effect, the second funeral, I think, was a little bit more maybe personal for the family. And then they got, you know, the private burial. So hopefully, you know, that made it a little bit easier on them. But I can't imagine it, though they have grown up knowing it. So maybe they think differently because of the fact that they've grown up with funerals being very public. Sometimes to them, that may be the norm. You never know. Um, she said, as far as the latest canvas, she says she's getting quicker as she's getting used to it. Yes, you definitely get a familiarity with the symbols with the placement, with, yeah, you do get a familiarity with the canvas, I think, once you get going and it can make it quicker. Uh, she said it's a colourful landscape by uh, Leonid, oh, I all, <laughs> I can see this guy's name in my head and I can never pronounce it right. Uh, so it's Leonid Afremov style. Uh, she says it's, oh, it's in his style. She says she's finding it fun to do instead of the tediousness that it could have been. Uh, she says, enjoy your holiday. She said, as these coming months seem extremely busy. <laughs> yes, I was actually saying to hubby how once the launch is done, you know, the launch weekend and the packing of the orders, things will calm down and I'll be able to find out what my normal is and then I thought do you know what no there's always something coming up <laughs> and if not I'm planning for something to come up so I think this just is my new normal and do you know what organized chaos I love it anyway as much as I may sometimes moan I do love a good bit of organized chaos Okay, just seeing if there's any diamonds that I can just fill in, clear things up a bit. Uh, Prue has also said, uh, anybody who wants to find out about using round diamonds on a blank canvas, uh, she's also mentioned to check out Joan Diamond Paints. Um, Fair Dust says, she's glad to see me working on the dreamers design canvas uh, she said they've just brought out canvases in round diamonds i just thought i'd run out of a diamond then and i actually picked up an empty tub instead of the one next to it uh, that'll teach me to grab what i thought was the right pot and look away um yeah so she said they've just brought out canvases with round rolls um, she said she ran out of a few of them uh, she's now two quarters of the way finished on her double trouble canvas in round, um, but she hasn't run out of drills yet. So halfway done and hasn't run out of drills. Well, that's good. If you run out of halfway. Whew. And I've just realised I put my pot in to get that one red one symbol there and I've got another one symbol in there. The joys, the joys of a confetti canvas. Um, only Merlin 
sharp as a whip this one uh, she said oh was that a little hint about little snazzy trashy tray possibly being in the advent calendar uh, she says she's so excited to find out well I, I, I can't discuss what's in the advent calendar it's a surprise until December <laughs> um, Taylor says the trashy tray would make a cute bag charm for a backpack or a purse that is so true I might have to see if if there's if there's a way of making it into other things maybe uh, Debbie says maybe instead of a summer house you could extend your conservatory um, I wish the conservatory is as big as it well as is it's as big as it can be without planning permission um, to go further back from the house we would need planning permission to be able to do that um, which would potentially turn it into a lot more of a costly business um, I think if it got to the point, it would potentially be some sort of warehouse or office space if it got to that point. We'll have to see. Diamond painting is accessories and extras and all the pretty things can be quite small. So maybe I'll just have to sort out some sort of storage warehouse um, for some items to go and try and condense the amount that I have in the house, maybe. We shall see. We will find out how it goes. There will get a point when um, there just won't be enough room. But I'm very good at fitting a lot of things into a small space, so you never know. I've got one child at uni at the moment, so um, her bedroom is being used for storage for things for October at the moment until they're able to head on their way to their new homes I can use her bedroom temporarily to store all those boxes um, Liz she says another lovely whip and waffle uh, she said after listening to this conversation she is convinced on both the painting and the advent calendar uh, she said she mentioned a hobby a while ago and after a raised eyebrow uh, she explained that she wanted to support a small business. She didn't mention feeding her addiction uh, and he was totally behind me. <laughs> I love it Liz, absolutely love it. Um, well yeah, hopefully you really like the reveal of both the advent calendar and you know, a sneak view of how the um, the advent calendar rather than the diamond painting advent calendar. This has made, it, has made it very confusing, by the way, this year. We keep talking advent and then we have to confirm which advent we're talking about. Um, hopefully both the painting and the advent calendar um, are still exciting you but at least you've got a bit of a sneak peek in relation to it it's making me very nervous um, and I'm really hoping that people do like it as much as I do can't wait to read the YouTube comments on it um, Amanda she says hi Rebecca she says to be honest she prefers the budget friendly diamond paintings uh, she says she's never had any static in the drills. Uh, she says where she's had a painting from Diamond Art Studio with 33 colours. She said, and every bag of drills had static. Um, she said, uh, so bad that she couldn't remove the drills from the bags. Uh, and she gave up in the end as she found it frustrating. Um, she's also hoped that we've had a lovely holiday. I can, I can see where you're coming from with that. Um, there are many people that prefer the budget um, companies for that reason. Also, sometimes due to their own budget, they prefer the budget companies. And I like to cover both where I, you know, where I can with, with both types of paintings that I have. 
I do have a few budget company large paintings in my stash. Um, though a lot of the large paintings are from the Deere companies. Uh, I suppose the only thing that you, a reason it may be the ideal or I'm happy to deal with the static a little bit more is that the static only tends to come from the nicer quality diamonds. So you may find on the nicer quality diamonds that you have more static. You may also find that you have ones with the tiny little bubbles in them. Um, but the shine on them when a painting's done is slightly nicer. Um, and I suppose it's one of those mini compromises um, that you have that with the nicer quality diamonds, static can definitely happen. It really can. And a piece of dryer sheet can often combat that really well. Um, yes, I got frustrated when I kitted up my June kits, my June mini paint gem kits, but I think that was because I was kitting up three with static and I was on a time crunch um, in relation to what I needed to get done that day. So I think, you know, that one tested me more, but I still, while I'm not a fan of static, I would prefer to have static to have the nicer drills than to not have it. But that's because I know once I put a dryer sheet in, it goes away. Having said that, you know, I still get some lovely images from the cheaper companies as well. And I'm happy doing both. I do just have a little bit of a soft spot for the nicer quality ones. But that's me. Everybody is different and everybody has their different reasonings. And yeah, I just like to do both of them. I just like to diamond paint. I just like to keep dotting. Dotting, dotting, dotting. So. Okay, Luna is off. So I think I have whipped and waffled far too much um, for one day. I feel like this is a longer whip and waffle than it has been. I will reply um, to I say the last few questions. It's probably still about 10 questions, which means knowing me, I could be here for another hour. Uh, but I will respond to those um, by typing. Um, so any questions that you do want discussing in person, of course, bob them in the comments of this one below and hopefully I will get to them on our next Whip and Waffle. But there we go, another section of my Dreamers designs and I've got enough sticky to stick my cover paper back on. But thank you all so much for watching and I'll speak to you all again soon.